there are two muscles right here. Two muscles right here. And these two muscles, we call them hamstrings. All right. These two muscles, we call them hamstrings. There is one semi-membranous. There is one semi tendinous the semi-membranous and semi tendinous their names are telling you how they should look like. Semi-membranous, as you can see right here, this is one very bulky muscle. Semi-membranous, also you can apply M for M. Membranous is in the medial side. This is medial. All right. So membranous is over there. Semi-tendinous. You see, most of the thing is white. That is tendon. So that's why it is called semi-tendinous. It's on the opposite side. There is one additional muscle over here, over here, just over the semi-membranous. I think you can see this muscle. I am trying to show you. This is called biceps femoris. We have got biceps brachii over here, very powerful. This is not that powerful, but still, that is here, and this is called biceps femoris. So biceps femoris and semi-membranous on one side, medial side, and semi-tendinous on the other side, lateral side. And as a whole, they are called hamstring muscles, and they are actually the flexor of the knee joint. Let's go a little This is the hip region, and we have got three muscles over here, and we call them gluteal muscles. The big one, the largest one, is called gluteus maximus. All right, gluteus maximus. And the smallest one is gluteus minimus. You don't see it. You see the gluteus medius, and you know, this is the site where we give the injection. Gluteus medius. Right here. Right here. Before we leave the thigh, we should see this thing. From ilium to the tibia, can you see something white going down? And this is one aponeurosis like thing. We don't call it aponeurosis. We don't call it tendon. Rather, we call it tract. The name is actually easy. From ilium to the tibia, call it iliotibial tract. Tract. T-R-A-C-T. Tract. Why this is important? When you are standing erect, so many factors are helping you. This one is one of the factors. It stabilizes the knee joint and hip joint when you are standing. It's on the lateral side? It's on the lateral side. You can feel it very tight. And how we readjust this thing? There is one small muscle over here that is called tensor fascia lata. Tensor, tensing. And fascia lata, this iliotibial tract is also called fascia lata. So this is called tensor fascia lata. And by changing, contracting this muscle, you can actually make to your posture. All right. So we are done with the thigh region. Leg region is kind of easy. We have got only a few muscles over here to learn. There are two muscles to learn in front. You see, this is the tibia. So almost anterior part, we don't have any muscle. Only partially have, we have got muscle. Lateral to the tibia, the first muscle you feel, that is called tibialis anterior. Easy. This tibia is over here, and this is the tibia anterior. So this muscle is called tibialis anterior. And there is another muscle right next to it, having very long tendon, and tendons are splitted to reach each and every toe. We call this muscle extensor digitorum longus. It is very long muscle extending the digits of your foot and it is right here. Extensor digitorum longus. So tibialis anterior and extensor digitorum longus. All right, easy. Let's go to the side. You know, by the side, lateral side, we have got the bone named fibula. So there are two muscles connected to the fibula right here. There are many muscles connected to the fibula but two you can really see from this side. Mm. And mm. there are two muscles but having almost the same name. We call them fibularis longus and fibularis brevis. Longus, 
fibularis, long fibular muscle, and brevis, short fibular muscle. Fibular is longest and fibular is brevis. Which one is longest? The longest one is the below one. The one having big muscle, that is the fibular is longest, and the muscle one is having big, very long tendon, that is the fibular is brevis. <coughs> Small muscle, long tendon. Outer one is fibular is brevis, and inner one is fibular is longest. All right. Now let's go.